Hi. As you will have noticed, I have two Anne Boleyn inspired tattoos. The first one, which is this one here, I had that done to commemorate holding Anne's Book of Hours at Hever Castle with my dear friend, Dr. Owen Emerson. It was the experience of a lifetime just holding books that belonged to Anne and that she would have used several times a day, objects that were very important to her. I chose to have the words that she wrote in one of those books tattooed on my arm, Le Tom Viendre, Je, Anne Boleyn. The time will come, I, Anne Boleyn. And I didn't just have the words tattooed, it's actually Anne's inscription, so it's Anne's handwriting. I had it very, very carefully copied along with the little drawing of the astrolabe or armillary sphere as well. Then about two or three years ago, I can't remember exactly when, after I'd suffered some quite horrible um, online harassment, I decided to have this tattoo done. Now, this is actually based on a fake Anne Boleyn artefact, which fooled lots of people, including myself. It was made by artist Suki Best for a special exhibition in 2003 at the Garden Museum Lambeth, which used to be St Mary's Church, the resting place of Elizabeth Boleyn, née Howard, mother of Anne Boleyn. This piece of embroidery was exhibited as done by Elizabeth Boleyn and it features Anne Boleyn's falcon pecking Catherine of Aragon's pomegranate along with a motto that Anne used for a short time very temporarily in around 1529-1530 when she was the king's kind of queen in waiting, his sweetheart, waiting for the great matter to be sorted out. The motto is Ainsi sera groin qui groin, which translates to thereabouts, let them grumble, that's how it's going to be. Now, it may be fake, but the actual um, falcon pecking the pomegranate, that image comes from a music book that is linked to Anne, and she definitely used the motto for a time, so that's good enough for me. And for me, it's important because it's a reminder that I can't please everyone and that the haters are going to hate. Let them grumble. That's how it's going to be. I'm who I am and I'm not going anywhere. And to those of you that don't like tattoos, well, I'm sorry, but you can grumble as well. I like them. I'm happy with them. They're important to me. So those are my Anne Boleyn tattoos. But I'm curious, and I, I love seeing um, pictures come up on Facebook and Instagram and that. I'm curious about whether you, any of my YouTube channel followers, have an Anne Boleyn or Tudor history themed tattoo. If you have got an Anne Boleyn or Tudor history inspired tattoo, or you've got a drawing of what you're going to have done, then I'd love to share a photo of that or your drawing in a special video here on my channel as a sort of Tudor tattoos for inspiration for other people. And I'll share instructions in the video description for how you can share your photo with me. Um, I think the best thing to do is to email just one image at a time to me at claire at the .com. That's Claire with an I and an E, and but you'll find it in the video description anyway. And I'm really looking forward to doing that. I think it will be a really good, fun video. And it's just wonderful to think that Anne Boleyn and these Tudor people in the Tudor times are still in inspiring us today. These tattoos are very important to me and they're, they're reminders of so much for me. Thank you so much for tuning in and I'll see you very soon. Take care. Bye-bye.